Okay, so here is the wall-mounted uh, bowed flip clock. And I thought I'd give an explanation of the working principles. So, it's in Swedish, so this is a Tuesday, December. Uh, we do non-capital letters. So this is the driving motor or coil uh, that needs a pulse every minute, alternating from plus minus, or sorry, zero to plus 12 volts and then zero to minus 12 volts. So every minute uh, that needs that signal because originally this was designed to be mounted in like a factory or something. And then you'd have several of these. Uh, actually, this is also a slave clock. So it needs like a master uh, master clock to send these signals and depending on how you mount the coils here you can run it on 12 24 or 48 volts I'm currently currently running it on 12 volts and I'm running it through this uh, Arduino and um, here you have a H bridge uh, it has two H bridges in it I'm only using one and it's supplied with 12 volts and the Arduino gives a pulse every minute. And then this is a voltage regulator that's an, uh, adjustable uh, by this potentiometer and it's currently set to three uh, volts. And that's actually instead of these two batteries uh, that used to be here. And uh, they are for the leap year function because this motor or solenoid or, or uh, electromagnet only drives the minutes and the minutes drives the hours and then the hours every every night will flip the day and also the date and the month but this always goes to 31 so whenever a month is shorter than uh, 31 days there is a wheel here that knows uh, which month it is and uh, also if it's a leap year or not so it's like 1983 and then multiples of four. Um, you should set it to to get the correct year. And then these slip contacts cleverly decides when a DC motor down here should run. So if we go through, say, February, um, it'll fast forward a few dates. Um, I will show you that in a second, but uh, this is also a safety switch that I short-circuited because it's supposed to stop this DC motor when the cover's off but uh, the switch broken so I just shorted these pins here and that's the only only thing that didn't work with the clock so I will upload a code that gives us uh, a minute every second so it'll run a bit faster and now it should run a lot faster even now though, it'll take a while. Um, so maybe we'll have to manually override it. And, um, oh yeah, no, no, I didn't change it. Yeah, so the, the code here simply every 60,000 millis is using, using the inter internal millis uh, clock in Arduino and uh, switches the, true, the, the two um, pins of the H-bridge every minute. Now, let's see if it goes faster. Yeah. But even now, it'll take quite a while to reach an interesting day. Um, so what you can do is actually fast forward. There we go. So then it skipped through to 1st of March. Uh, and if it would have been a leap year, we would have done so at the 29th. So yeah, that's the clock. Now I'll have to put the covering on and then it's ready to be mounted on a, uh, a wall. 